Thank you so much to eBay for sponsoring this episode of Making Moves. Whether you're searching for the latest sneaker drop, that iconic handbag, a timeless watch, or your next piece of classic jewelry, eBay authenticators are verifying every detail of your purchase. With years of experience, they're making sure the piece you're searching for is worthy of your collection. eBay's authenticators are experts in their craft, true connoisseurs. And as leaders in their fields, they're making sure your items always arrive as authentic as your style. In a world full of fakes, it's time to get real. With eBay authenticity guarantee, everyone deserves real. Visit ebay.com for terms. Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Making Moves. I'm here today with my sister, C-Star, Ash Nicole XO. We're here to talk about our trip to South Africa. Wow. What an experience that was. That was one of those trips where it's just like, it's it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and it like exceeded every expectation that I had. Mm -hmm. Although I'm like, I'm not going to lie. I feel a little not guilty, but I feel really sad because I feel like you didn't you were so sick, but yeah. you had such a great attitude. Guys, it was literally, it was one of the best trips of my life. And at the exact same time, the worst trip of my life. I've never gotten so sick while traveling before. No, and like, I've traveled you were a such lot. a trooper. Yeah, I've gone to all kinds of different countries and I've been there, done that before. I know the drill. I've never gotten hit like that while traveling and man did it suck it sucked so bad yeah it no i felt so bad for you yeah essentially like at first i started having stomach problems which is normal for people especially when traveling to a different country so i was like oh it'll last a day can i be blunt though about yeah. what it was yes okay of it course it was diarrhea it was really it wasn't bad. like oh her stomach hurt like yeah. it was like actual diarrhea yeah and what was which weird, is normal in south africa yeah apparently it's a traveler's diarrhea right you're called. not supposed to like drink the water you're not supposed to eat raw vegetables, raw fruits, stuff like that. Be careful of ice, et cetera. hundred percent. But I got this our second day there. And we, we were being careful. We hadn't gone anywhere. We were still in Cape Town, which is a like a nice city, like mm -hmm. a, a, a metropolitan area. So I wasn't eating fruit from like a cart stand or like out, we weren't out in the bush. We were in a city. Mm -hmm. And I ate exactly what Jackson and TK ate. So the whole time I was like, this is really weird that I got it, but that's fine. In It'll fact, last. I'm the one that accidentally brushed my teeth like a with little the water. too much yeah. with the water and they didn't. Yeah. And then it so turns out I you can have, have so the thought. water in Cape Town because yeah. it is a healthy city. Um, so we were like, okay, well, it's fine. Whatever it is, it's travelers. It'll last a day max, maybe two. Um, I ended up sick for like a total of six days. Uh, sick for the actual wedding itself. And what was so wild was I was having intense stomach cramps. Like it felt like I would I would be fine. I felt like I had the flu and it wasn't a big deal. But then out of nowhere, every like at least every 45 minutes or something, my stomach would cramp. It felt like someone just grabbed it and squeezed it really hard. And it hurt so bad. I couldn't eat anything. I was drinking all the liquids, like barely peeing. Like that's how crazy we it was. We were like liquid IV, <laughs> yeah. emergency, Gatorade, everything. everything. I was pounding water and I was barely peeing and that's always a bad sign. Um, and then once we get out to the wedding, it turns out another girl had a very similar thing and I go and see a doctor and she was this like, it turns out, I was surprised I was able to get a doctor appointment in the first place. Mm -hmm. I was like shocked. Um, but I got one. It turns out she was a little more holistic. And I understand her perspective, but she was like, listen, we would love if your body could heal itself on its own. Let's, Wait, let's try these this. medications. And I was like, I was really hoping for like antibiotics. I'm in a foreign country. I still have a long way to go. We're supposed to go on a safari later. Like, I want to enjoy my time here. Yeah. yeah. But she didn't want to give them to me. And I'm the type of person who can't question. Oh, really? Like, doctor. I should have, like, dropped the hammer and been like, no, give me. I should have. I did not. Um, and I end up continuing being sick, even with all the medication. And I ended up stealing TK's z pack because she came prepared. She had uh, azithromycin, which is a uh, antibiotic. It's like a five day course, mm -hmm. I think. Um, and I ended up stealing it immediately. Like the next day felt better. So I definitely had like a, a stomach virus, not like travelers. Mm -hmm. And it was the worst. It was so bad. Well, and then on top of that, I will say pretty much I, how many people do you think were there at Kapama with us? At Which Kapama? 
like 50? Yeah, there was a good amount of people. Okay. 50 people-ish were at. So the first week, we'll explain all this, but the first week we were in Cape Town, then we went to the wedding, and then the last week we went on a safari. And yeah. the uh, resort was called Kapama. Uh-huh. Once we got to Kapama, that's when Traveler's hi- Diarrhea hit, hit everyone. everyone else. I'm not kidding you. Every single person, minus like... Me, because I finally people. got better. <laughs> like, minus, like, literally me, Jackson, yeah, and there were I think Sarah Penny that never and Adam. Got, yeah. We all somehow didn't get it. I did have a few questionable moments where I was like, Is it oh, happening? It didn't feel great. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, as far as co- in comparison to other, everyone else, I wouldn't say I had it. Yeah. Because some people had it for days. And it basically travelers area. Sorry, this is like a gross yeah. <laughs> subject, but it was a Welcome huge thing to, of the trip. Uh, making moves with TK. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not kidding you. Like th- how comfortable I am talking about diarrhea now because of this trip oh, is like insane. The the change that has happened in me oh, because of that trip. Like I use, don't talk about that stuff. Ash and I hate potty talk. Yeah, it's gross. Now, ew. I feel like we are bonded for life. <laughs> yeah. Like now I can talk about it not freely, but like I can I can talk about we it and can. not freak out. We can. We don't out. like like to. Right. But the amount of people that would just like randomly show up to things that would be like I just had raging diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had like it was just a normal thing. Like yeah. people would be we'd be out on a safari. People would have to get off the like jeep thing. Yeah. And go run into off the bush the trail yeah. and just have diarrhea. Like yeah. that was just our that was normal. And you know what? We made the most of it. We made the most of it. It was so much fun. Um, even though I was sick, I had paid for all of the excursions. I had paid for all of the touristy Which things. Which I'm so glad we signed up for that. We did in the beginning. Like yeah. there were so many cool we things. Did it. I know. We did like cars. We did like uh, sidecars around the island. We did a fun, authentic dinner with music. We and a did drum lesson. So many fun things like boat things. Um, and I had paid for all of it. So in my head, I was like, I know you're miserable. We're going to take everything we can and we're going to go at least see everything. And it included the meals and stuff. Yeah. And everything everyone was, all inclusive. was going. Yeah. yeah. Transportation, so I, et cetera. I'm very proud of myself for, yes, I was miserable. My stomach hurt like crazy. And a lot of the time I felt nauseous, but I got to go and see it do everything because who knows when I'm ever going to go back to Africa, yeah. you know? So. You I were really pulled truly it together. A great sport. <laughs> I don't know that I would have been able to go on all the excursions. I there were a couple of times I feel like I shouldn't have gone, and um, but I'm I'm glad I was able to go and see everything. Were you not like freaking out like when we were on the bus? Like there's not a bathroom. Like what? Yeah. So the only thing that was beneficial in that instance was it wasn't constant because when it hit, when it hit like I went a lot. And then I felt like I was emptied out of everything. Oh, okay. So if I was able, it sounds <laughs> crazy. I'm so sorry. No, guys, like this is, you need to hear it because yeah. it was a part of the trip. But I, the bus ride was scary because there wasn't anything there. But like if I, if I had to, I would have like made them pull over. But okay. Nothing, it never and you happened. you know we would have. Yeah. <laughs> I would have been, excuse me. There was at least, probably like 30 people on the bus, 40. It was a huge bus. It was a big group. Yeah. yeah. Um. So imagine me being like, sorry, stop the bus. I have to. <laughs> no, but like I could imagine. Out there. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so Ashley and I got invited. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. We get invited by our friends, Sarah Penny and Adam. Yes. To go to their wedding in South Africa because Sarah Penny is from Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. So the wedding was in South Africa. Yeah. Which they is were crazy. supposed to get married during COVID, like so many couples. Um, obviously, we that weren't got invited canceled. Then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I knew her, but like I had met her once. I've known her for forever, but I just wasn't tight with her. Yeah. Yeah. Same. We both weren't. Um, so then she postponed the actual big ceremony and had a very small ceremony uh, during COVID um, because her and her husband wanted to get married. And they got married. They ended up getting married. Um, But because of that, they decided to this this year, top of this year, do their wedding like they had planned the whole shebang, like the full thing, like they they haven't been married at all. Um, but because they have been married for a couple of years, they instead of doing a honeymoon, did a buddy moon. So anyone who which wanted to could join them on their safari honeymoon, which I loved. Would you do that? I a thousand percent would. Me I would too. I would either I would block off like two or three days. I think either in the beginning, probably at the end, um, for just me and my guy, you know, so that we can have our time together. But 
I had so much. I feel like it'd be way more fun with more people. I think true. It was if more I of can, a party. Yeah. I would for sure do a buddy moon, and then I would, <laughs> I would film. I would plan an additional trip. Yeah, like maybe a weekend trip somewhere that's like called my honeymoon. Yeah, where it can and be just, just make the it romantic. Two of you. Exactly, yeah, it's just a trip, but it's like that's romantic. what I mean. Like a couple days. Uh, that's that's focused on like the honeymoon, like just the two of you is really all you need. Mm-hmm. But like I want to celebrate. Like I want to have fun with and, your friends, and it's hard to have that much fun without extra people so yeah. I would totally copy paste do that all over again I loved that idea yeah so fun especially because I feel like I hear so many brides and grooms complain about how during their wedding they're like so exhausted and don't so get to have stressed. fun because yeah. they're just trying to say hi to everyone yeah whereas you know Penny and Adam because we were with them for the whole week before and the whole week after they mm-hmm. didn't feel pressured to like chat up a storm with every single person they could just like enjoy themselves on the wedding day yeah and like we can talk to them tomorrow because we're going on a trip together you know so that's what i loved and then the thing i loved the most being a guest which i would love to hear your favorite Mm -hmm. thing too but i loved how i like made really good friends with these people that Uh i otherwise would have never met in my entire life because we did travel for so long because otherwise i would have met them at the wedding said hi forgot their names right a thousand percent something i loved about this wedding that i actually told the bride and groom was it felt like summer camp yeah i literally didn't know anybody we didn't know anyone i knew tk i knew jackson and i knew one other girl just because she did content on youtube but i didn't know a single other person and there was a lot of people i know a few i knew shelby monica and janine oh that's true i guess i knew shelby monica and Haley, and brian True. Okay. So there we was did a know handful you. of people that but, we did know. But in comparison to the rest of the people we met? Yeah. But everyone else was strangers. It was so fun. I've never been, honestly, since camp in a situation like that where you've gone in and not known people and, and walked out with really great friendships. Um, like, actually, there's people I like... W- I still hang out with now yeah. because of the trip, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. And we're all, there's a lot of us that are going to be kind of reuniting at our other friend's wedding um, this coming week. up this week. So that'll be fun to see them. But it really was like a camp moment where you just like let yourself be open to meeting new people and like learning, you know, what what life they have, like what brought them here, how they know Adam and Sarah. And it was just, it was just so much fun. I love it. Um, one of my favorite things too was this is the first trip I had ever really been on where it was just me and you. Yeah, I was thinking about that um, when it was happening. Yeah, I remember being like, "Oh, it's it's weird not having Alicia here because uh-huh. Alicia or even Taryn because the ba- the bachelorette for Haley's wedding, right? Taryn, Taryn was, was there. with us, yes, but Alicia wasn't. But like, you know what I mean? There's, There's always, always like someone somebody. else. Yeah, and the whole reason I feel like you guys probably already know this, but the whole reason um, TK and I are so close is because you worked with Alicia mm-hmm. um, for years. So her her not being there was kind of odd. And I yeah. remember being like, oh, it's really weird that Alicia's not here, but this is fun. She is definitely like, you know, the reason we're close. Right. A thousand but we definitely percent. have our own relationship. I feel like especially now. Yeah. Because of this <laughs> yeah. trip. Because of course I like knew Ashley. Yeah. But now I really know yeah. Ashley. There were a couple moments in our friendship. It was definitely COVID. Yeah. <laughs> that brought us together. And then, like, I mean, our Africa trip really like solidified that. Mm-hmm. Also, I felt like you always liked my boyfriend and then after Africa I feel like the two of you guys have your own relationship and it's cute <laughs> it's really cute we're in our hike era right yeah. now <laughs> yeah. it's like literally Jackson and I are the ones convincing Ashley to come yeah. on the hike with us they're like Ash come, come on come on the hike like they're going no matter what and it's yeah. so fun um, <laughs> to see your guys' relationship because <laughs> I, I remember like even introducing you to him I remember being like oh she's like my little sister like you'll see when we when you see us like interact together like you'll see she's very much like a little sister and now I feel like you're a little sister to him too No, and it's so great it's so funny he feels like I guess a brother but like it's weird because I've never had an older brother like I'm just comparing comparing him to Phil Right. he just definitely feels like I have you and Alicia are like you know my older like role model mentor like don't take me under my wing like Mm -hmm. 
if I was in a car accident, I would call both of you. Like, yeah. I genuinely feel like I could call him. Yeah. And he would help me. I completely agree. Like, he feels like an older, like, not fatherly. I don't want to say that. But, like, in a weird <laughs> Dad, way. You kinda. were kind of like our kid. No, literally. <laughs> like I, kid. Think, I think we all went into this thinking it would be like, oh, like, we're mom and dad and you're the kid. But because I got sick, <laughs> I ended up being I the kid. Mom. And you guys were taking care of me. And I was like, TK, help me. I'm hurt. Honestly, I'm so glad that it wasn't just you two and I was there especially because you were sick because Ashley hates potty talk and I was like okay just tell me what's yeah. going on I was like, and I'm then not, I will I'm like done. guide I'm Jackson not, through this because well. that's like so the worst situation ever like I don't want to be telling my boyfriend about my diarrhea yeah you know oh my god <laughs> like I can't imagine so bad and <laughs> sorry to go back to the <laughs> potty talk <laughs> but the first part of the trip we were in this nice Airbnb that happened to have a third bathroom and I literally claimed it that I was Airbnb like, was lit I know it was it was so perfect Perfect. Just like right I, on the water. I even went and laid down and slept in there one of the nights because I couldn't sleep because I was in so much pain. Um, and I just took the third bathroom. I was like, that's mine. I'm that's where I'm gonna be. Don't mind me. Like, don't anyone else use it. So that was kind of mine and it was great. But then we went to the wedding itself where TK, <laughs> me, and my boyfriend all shared a room in an effort to one, not only share money or save money of course <laughs> but it was like very last minute that we planned everything and there wasn't rooms yeah. available so we ended up all having to share a room which was fine <laughs> except again I'm severely <laughs> sick I'm severely sick so I I <laughs> I like in the middle of the night once had to break my rule but most of the time I went down to the lobby to go to the I bathroom would do that, yeah. yeah yeah there was one time in the middle of the night that I had to use it but you guys were both asleep and I felt fine yeah I was but probably zonked every morning every night whenever it happened I had to walk down to the lobby and use the bathroom Thank you so much to eBay for sponsoring this episode of Making Moves. Whether you're searching for the latest sneaker drop, that iconic handbag, a timeless watch, or your next piece of classic jewelry, eBay authenticators are there verifying every detail of your purchase. Yep, we're talking each inch, stitch, tick, facet, and clasp that make the piece you're searching for worthy of your collection. eBay's authenticators are experts in their craft, true connoisseurs, and as leaders in their fields, they're making sure your items always arrive as authentic as your style. So go ahead, get that piece you've always wanted and leave it up to the meticulous eye of an eBay authenticator to make sure that watch movement is original. That glimmer is real gold. That rare sneaker is legit or that handbag is really made of genuine leather and never get faked over again. In a world full of fakes, it's time to get real with eBay authenticity guarantee. Everyone deserves real. Visit ebay.com for the terms. It's just me. So like, I feel like you're like, dude, leave the room. I have to diarrhea. Yeah. Whatever. Like, I, it's fine. Yeah. But like Jackson truly after that trip, I was like, I refuse to settle. Like I, he <laughs> taught me what I want in a man. Like yeah. literally I was like, he is a fucking angel. He took like, such I good hope care he never of hears me. this because I don't want it to be <laughs> ego. But like you guys, Ashley's boyfriend is what I'm looking for in a man now. He did like such a great job. I did not realize how much acts of service I yeah. appreciate yeah. from men. Like he would not let me lift a bag. Yeah. Anytime we would go anywhere every morning, every forky morning, he would wake up and go and get us coffee or make us breakfast. Yeah. Or something. And would never like I, you know, when sometimes someone makes someone, they're like, well, yeah, thank God I made you breakfast. Like, yeah. weird energy. Yeah. He never... Kind of holding it over you. Yeah. Yeah. He just knows how to treat a woman. Yeah. And just women in general. Like, it wasn't just you. Like, I, I feel like he really took care of me. Yeah, he's a total gentleman. When he didn't need to. Like, yeah. he would open the doors. He would, like, if we were in a sketchy area or mm. just, like, you know, when you're traveling, I've, I'm typically either with my family or with girlfriends. Yeah. But it was, I felt so safe being with him because he was just like on the lookout for us. Like anytime we needed an Uber or a meal or anything, he always put his card down. Yeah. And even though he knew we were going to pay him back and yeah. we were going to pay him back, the fact that he like took that role, I felt like was so attractive. Yeah. It is, I, was, it's very... I fell in love with Jackson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, please get married because <laughs> I need you around. Yeah. I, um, one of the things I've always loved about him is he, I don't have to ask him to do no. little, like anything like that. Or even me being sick in Africa, obviously we've been dating for a little while now, but the way he dealt with that. Yeah. I didn't ask him to make calls. I didn't ask him to go get medicine. I never asked him 
to go get me water because at the time I thought I couldn't drink the faucet water. Oh, yeah. um, but like he every day like went to the store and went and got stuff without me asking, even if it was late at night. And like little things like that go a, a really long way. I and mean, I think talk tell about you your relationship to a test. Yeah. You know? And I think it tells you a lot about like who a person is at their core. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was raised right. He was raised right. I mean, it right. he impressed the hell out of me <laughs> just so because glad. like that is probably the least sexy you can oh, be is I when mean, you're just down down you with diarrhea at your lowest. Like, yeah. yeah, that's the least sexy to like, especially a guy. Yeah. Right? I'm already like, ew, Ashley, <laughs> right? yeah. like let alone your boyfriend. And he like did not make you feel uncomfortable or weird. Mm-hmm. Like, of course, I wasn't going to like make it weird just because I know Ashley and it's like, <laughs> yeah. whatever, like I'm not going to make you feel uncomfortable. At least I hope I didn't. No, you did not. But um, Jackson, like the way he handled specifically you being sick yeah. i was like i want that i want that like yeah. if i was down bad i can't think of a guy that would take care of me like that oh my and gosh. i need to find one it was it was so rough even during the actual wedding itself it was extremely hot and just imagine being like oh my god sick to your stomach so hot like 100 degrees and like you guys. sweating like that i was miserable i'm already like m- the worst version of myself in heat like that but being sick on top of it i was fuming angry uh-huh. like unnecessarily angry at everyone because i was like i can't be here like yeah. i'm so sick but it was the wedding day like i would i did everything else i have to be here at the wedding so every like you know 10 15 minutes i had to excuse myself from the table and go run to the bathroom and then at one point i didn't even go back to the table i just went outside because it was significantly cooler mm-hmm. outside so i just went outside and i was sitting there and i was like cooling off because i was so hot and he next thing i know he like came out and sat next to me and we were just like mm-hmm. looking at the stars and he didn't even say anything we were both just like this sucks but like it's fine and we ended up leaving the wedding early and i felt bad but like the fact that he normally I would be the one that would take that role and like leave early and he can stay and have yeah. fun. And the fact that he was like, he didn't even think twice. He was like, TK staying like I'm taking care yeah, of my yeah, girlfriend. Yeah. I was like that, is, which no shit. Like yeah. that's how it should be. Right. But it's just like, I guess I'm not around enough gentlemen. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> like he yeah. deserves an award. I but I'll never tell him. <laughs> <laughs> He can't know. He can't know that. that. No one tell Jackson. But I really do feel like I bonded with him. And he has my stamp of approval if he wants to put a ring on it. I'm just saying. But I feel like we're like close now. Like I feel like I I'm really close with Jackson. Yeah. A thousand percent. You guys are next level friends. Way more. Yeah. I feel like he probably understands me as well. Yeah. I think so too. It was a good time. (laughs) Because this is like the first time we really traveled together alone. Was there anything about me that you learned? That was new. One of my favorite things about traveling with TK is I I loved how you like you want to like talk. <laughs> and I and I girl talk. And I mean this in like because I had been or I was with Jackson. We like TK had a room and then me and Jackson had a room. <laughs> Jackson like came in multiple times and TK would be like sitting on the bed with me and just like talking because she had a crush at the wedding and it's like every girl's dream is to like be a guest at a wedding go single and find a a guy right find a guy to like have a a fun little crush (laughs) fling with and TK every night (laughs) and I feel like this was my first time I've known you when you've had crushes and and you've had like guys that you liked before but this was my first time like experiencing like the the meet cute experiencing (laughs) the like every single night like getting dressed every day to like see him you know (laughs) and like it was really fun for me to like live through that with you and I'm not kidding like every night we would have like a debrief (laughs) of what this guy said or did or how he looked at her or whatever and we would like break it down Jackson Jackson was like a part of it yeah that's what's funny is he didn't so then he looked at me this way he like didn't want to be a part of it but then he would say stuff he became invested and he would start like putting his input in and we didn't ask for his input so he was clearly invested too and it was just like it became this whole like side story that was so fun for me it was was so living for it so i would like come home and i'd be like so then he put me against the wall. <laughs> yeah. And Jackson, Jackson and I would be like, hell yeah. Or we'd be like, oh, cool. Like, or whatever. No, we but were what's just funny is like we would be up. out in public because it was this big group traveling together. And like my crush slash fling at the time yeah. was with the group. So yeah. Jackson would like, we would be out in public with the guy. Yeah. And Jackson would be like, 
oh, you're gross, blah, blah, blah. He'd yeah. be making fun of me. And then we would come home for the debrief and he'd be like, and he'd be like, he was looking at you the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was even one point when we like had realized that the crush was happening. It had been a few days already. So Jackson and I, <laughs> and I like go up and talk to him just to like talk. We're just like trying to, we're like, like so. What the hell are they saying to No, him? we weren't talking about you at all. We were just like getting to know him. Wait, was this on the welcome party? Yes, okay. at the welcome party. There was a specific this is before moment. before anything happened. This really. was a specific moment when we knew you liked him and there was a possibility that he liked you and Jackson was like, let's go talk to him. And I was like, okay. So we like both walk up. <laughs> know you guys planned this yeah we both walk up and we're like so what do you do like <laughs> they were so getting nice his approval you. yeah yeah just like getting to know him and it was it was fun playing that role okay you know what was funny is at the welcome party i felt like i was like making eye contact with him the whole time but i was like come talk to me i was like yeah. i'm not gonna come talk to you yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and you guys were like being snickering we're like with <laughs> <him>. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to get to know him. That's yeah. all. You just need to get his approval. Yeah. Okay, well, let's actually talk about, I guess, that and go through the motions of the entire trip because I feel like there's so much that comes with it. So we got invited to this wedding. We planned everything together. Mm -hmm. I am definitely a planner. Yes. <laughs> so I feel like I Which took is the great. role of, like, I made an Excel sheet yeah. where we were going, whatever. Think there was a travel agent but we yeah. really were booking it last minute so I was just like it, I mean by the time once we were invited I think we had like a month I think we booked everything like two weeks out. before or something yeah. crazy yeah so anyway we get our flights whatever we get there it's so funny like POV it's like Ash Jackson and me in like a row on a plane yeah. like for literally 24 <laughs> yeah. hours for so long we it got so to long. know each other well we yeah. get to our Airbnb the Airbnb is beautiful um, right on the water, love it. And we went on a hot girl walk the first yes, day. Yes, we did. A great walk and it felt great, great especially after that long of traveling. Sometimes mm -hmm. you just need to move your body. Had some really great meals. And then the first day, which is when you got sick, we went on the sidecars. Yes, correct. That was one of my favorite activities that we did. That was a great activity. It was so fun. So obviously they drive on the opposite side of the road. So there is an actual driver driving the bike itself. And then we're just chilling in the sidecar. And it was or behind. a blast. There was yes. Like, yeah, or behind. There are people that were either straddling behind or sitting in the sidecar. And I... It was so much fun because you get to just like look around and like take pictures and videos and take pictures of each other. And it was it was so perfect weather outside. Oh, my gosh. It's stunning. I if you go to Cape Town, South Africa, I highly recommend staying in Camps Bay. Yeah. And I highly recommend doing the sidecars because it was such a blast. It was stunning. So fun. So we do the sidecars. We have the best time. I don't think that homeboy was there yet. No, he wasn't. I think he I would have noticed him. I don't think he was there. Wait. No, he wasn't there. Wasn't he in a group picture? Not in that one. Oh. That's the next day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Got it. Okay, so funny enough, just to give you like side context, Janine, I knew, and Janine was the maid of honor, and I knew her before just from YouTube and stuff. Yes. We love Janine, whatever. I've known her forever. So Janine was like my little travel buddy kind of on the trip. Like, uh -huh. we sat next to each other on the bus and did the sidecar thing, whatever, together, because we were both there and, like, single girls. Although yes. she had a boyfriend. So I asked her, I was like, yo, like, you're the maid of honor. Like, who were the hot groomsmen? Right? Yeah. I asked yeah. her. Talk to me. <laughs> and she was like, honestly, no one. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, no one here. Like, TK, like, you're not going to like any of them. Like, I would set you up. But, like, the guys that are single are not cute. So yeah. in my head, I was like, well, fuck me. Like, there's yeah. not going to be a hot guy. Like, I'll just be vibing on Hinge and Raya. Like, while I'm in. <laughs> We're just, like, having a girly pop trip. Yeah. Or I sometimes I... I, sometimes I feel like I have a, I'm a little more relaxed. I have a little more fun when I know there isn't someone there really? available because I'm just like, oh, well, then, it, you know, I don't have to like try to do anything. Yeah, so no you pressure. were probably thriving for the first couple of days because none of those guys are available slash cute or slash worth it. I just wasn't. They weren't my type. And that's when he saw you. He probably saw you like vibing and thriving because oh, you were just like. I didn't really think about that. Yeah, I, I think guess. so. Probably. You're making me blush. Okay. <laughs> so we do the sidecar thing. We did we go out to dinner that night? I think a group did, and we because didn't. I had just gotten sick, I didn't. Okay, so I we, don't think we did. Yeah, we did our own thing. We wake up the next day. I'm not even kidding you guys. Every day in Cape Town, we had like a strict schedule. Yeah. No side after sidecars, we did the um drums. Oh, you're right, and the, the authentic, authentic African meal. Yes. 
Um, so we had like a drum lesson, which was so fun. Also, yeah. the, the drum instructor was intense. He was crazy like, good. I thought we were going to be like vibing, like yeah. doing the drums. Like, no, like you had to listen. Yeah. And like we were playing djembe's and they're like the, the big wooden drum with the skin head. And you we were like learning how to like <laughs> tap it, hit it, whatever. And like he would go super fast and we would all just try to like keep up because he was going fast. If you were off, he would call you out. He like would call you out. Everyone. And it was kind of scary because he'd yeah. be like, don't call me out. It's like going to a comedy show no, and they pick on you. That's yeah. what it felt like. So it's like, I like attention, but not that attention. Not that kind yeah. of attention. Okay. So we eat the authentic African meal. Mm-hmm. Poor Ashley is sick there. Barely ate. I we was end up a, going a home. Oh, oh, I forgot. I cried oh. in the bathroom because I, I was having <laughs> such a hard time. I knew you were down bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will say we also had a day beforehand before everyone else got there. And <laughs> Ashley and Jackson and I went to the aquarium. Yeah. Which we, was, and that was, was so much fun. That was low-key <laughs> one of my favorite. Really fun. Yeah. yeah parts we just went randomly and we shopped around and there's a really pretty place called i think it's the waterfront yes right yes and it's like a big mall with shops and restaurants and stuff Mm -hmm. so we were hanging out there and uh the third day was when we went that's when Haley and brian arrived yes and we went what was before oh it was the boat Boat and the penguin and the penguin beach, yes. which in South Africa there's this beach that you can go to that has like white, beautiful sand, mm-hmm. but you don't go to lay out; you just go to look at the penguins. And there's yeah. like a shit ton of penguins on yeah. a beach. Yeah, so that Such that was what was interesting was you're in South Africa, but the beach water's freezing. Yeah, apparently it's so cold, so no one actually swims except like, for surfers with wetsuits. You'll get in just to like cool off, but it's like a shockingly cold experience. So. That was a fun fact. Yeah. So we get on this boat. I didn't even know Homeboy was on the boat. Mm. I didn't never. I never saw him. Did yeah. you? I mean, I don't remember seeing him. I also was in my own world. <laughs> uh, I was in my own world. So we were. We get on the boat. Everyone's like popping champagne. Yeah. We're. We go to the Seal Island thing. So fun. We get back. Um, then we go to the Penguin Beach. And the way the Penguin Beach started is I don't know how the first penguin got on there, but it started with one or one or two penguins. Yeah. And then they reproduce. Yeah. And then all and now those, it's Penguin it's Island. <laughs> literally Penguin Island, which is crazy. <laughs> and we had an amazing meal. Yeah. Um, afterwards. That was one of my favorite meals we had. Really? I don't know if you were down bad. Then. I had a hard time eating it. Okay. Yeah. I think I ate the bread roll. So that's the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Me at every cool fun dinner we went to i was eating the bread roll so and if, I it, ate the bread roll. if it looked like i had a glass of champagne it was fizzy water <laughs> no and at the end of the day you can always rely on a bread roll yeah we love a bread roll and i will say anytime i'm sick i can still eat bread yeah because it like helps like soak up it any like feels yeah good. it feels good so at this meal was the first time we were kind of really sitting next to people we didn't know yeah because it was me shelby monica you jackson yeah or maybe someone else and then this guy from the Air Force and his family. Yes. So the groom <laughs> was in the Air Force and played a sport. So like a bunch of the other groomsmen and people there were are in the Air Force. Yeah. And I could not know anything. Zero knowledge less on Air about Force. The Air Force. Yeah. Like I literally it's a different language to yeah. me. Uh-huh. I don't I don't know anything about the movie Top Gun. I've yeah. never seen it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know shit. Yeah. Right. I, Tom Cruise. I'm like, who is that? Yeah. Literally. So <laughs> we're sitting next to this guy uh-huh. and with his family. And he's like, kind of tells I'm like chatting his ear off because Ashley's sick. And I'm like, all right, I'll just make friends. So yeah. we meet this guy and he's telling me all about what he does for a living. And he literally jumps out of helicopters for a yeah. living and basically skydives and rescues people yeah he's like search and rescue yeah which is insane y'all insane. know me i would at this point i was interviewing him i yeah. was like and how did you feel when you jumped out of your yeah. <laughs> how did you how did you get involved in this like did you always want to jump he's out of literally airplane? at this point telling his wife he's like cover your ears babe <laughs> they live in like italy or something yeah. he's in the air force lives in italy he's like constantly flying out of she doesn't want to hear about his stories because yeah. it's too scary they have which a little I get. son it's they're so cute so i'm now invested in like learning about this because yes. it's just so foreign to me and he's like invested in learning about youtuber shit he's yeah like, which is so, so funny how, how interested he was he i was, was so interested i was like on the side 
tried not talkative because I was dying, but I was listening to everything and I was like, wow, he's really interested in YouTube. That's fun. I know, right? <laughs> like most like grown ass men like don't care necessarily. So he seemed like extra inter- interested. Yeah. Right. Interested. <laughs> interested. interested so now i'm invested in like all this jumping out of planes i'm like does everyone here jump out of planes like yeah. what's the vibe How does that work so then we the meal finishes and you and jackson decide to head home we left because i wasn't again <laughs> i'll just keep saying it i wasn't great <laughs> i was bad i was real bad and i stayed yes So I stay and after talking to this guy, I'm like invested and he points out to me, he was like, you know, who's really cool is this fighter pilot guy, Yeah, which is this guy that like we're friends with now. I I don't really know him well, but I kind of know his wife. So he like shows me him and he's like, that's the guy that does all the fighter pilot Top Gun shit. I'm like, okay, I guess I need to watch Top Gun, whatever. Yeah. (laughs) So I'm like invested in this now. I'm talking with all the girls. Ash and Jackson has left and I'm with all the girls, like the bridesmaids basically, but I'm not a bridesmaid. And I say to them, I'm like, guys, I just got all the tea on the Air Force stuff. (laughs) Yeah. Guess who? Everyone there pretty much had like a significant other or husband. Yeah. Right? Everyone was pretty cuffed up. Yeah. Pretty like, married yeah right like they've been dating for if they were dating they were dating for a while like they're yeah 100 percent. and they like a lot of them had kids but they're so cool i loved all these couples so as like a joke i'm like guys guess which one of the guys here is like the big top gun star right (laughs) which i just had learned what this is yeah and all of the girls are like, we're like looking at who we think's the hottest. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's like what we're thinking. We're yeah. like, who's hot? Yeah. Because like we're correlating hot with being good at right. top gun shit. Right. We're, keep in mind, I don't even know what this means. So everyone's like going around. We're like, I think that guy, I think this guy, I think this guy, whatever. And then this is the first time I noticed homeboy. Yeah. And I was like, hmm, I think that guy. And they were like, oh yeah, like yeah. he, whatever. But, like, they weren't, like, as agreeing with me as I thought. I was like, hmm, like, maybe. And then I was like, I haven't seen him or, like, his wife. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh, he must be new. Right? So that's the only thing I had. Yeah. So that's the only thing I noticed. And I just thought he was hot. And I thought he had something to do with Top Gun. Yeah. Right? Not knowing anything about him. So then we, you know, move forward. We go to this beach. And we're taking a bunch of photos. And homeboy, I... We're doing a jumping photo. My sunglasses fall. Homeboy has my sunglasses and he gives me them. Meet cute. There it is. That's where we met. Yeah. Yeah. So something happens that's like kind of cute there because after he gives me his sunglasses, the groom comes up to me and he's like, immediately after this guy gives me his sunglasses, my sunglasses, he's like, so TK, like, who are you? Who do you have your eyes on here? Yeah. Like, you know, do you have a crush on anyone yet? Like, yeah. What's going on? Adam's definitely like a mover and shaker. He likes yeah. to set people up. Yeah. And, you he's know, watching. He's scheming. He loves the drama. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know. Like, who would you set me up with? Like, I heard the guys here aren't really my type. Yeah. He's So he go, he's going through all the single guys. There's like, I think, four or five of them. Yeah. So he goes through them. I'm like, okay, okay. Leaves this sunglass man as the last one. And yeah. he's like, I can just tell he wants me. To talk about it to, on your own. Yeah. yeah. To, like, you want He wants you to bring it up. Right? And like, I, so I'm connecting the dots. I'm like, wait, this guy just saved my sunglasses. And then you immediately came up. Like, were you guys just talking about me while yeah. he like picked up the sunglasses? I was just like kind of connecting the dots. Uh-huh. So I get home that day and I tell Ashley, I'm like, so I think I might have a crush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you remember this? Yeah, because again, we debriefed every night and that was the start of the like... And Ashley's like, what? Like, yeah. who? Yeah. Right? I was trying to picture like all the guys I had seen. And did you even know who I was talking no, about? Yeah. I and I was like, I heard this guy's single. I feel like Adam's trying to set me up, but he's n- trying to play it cool. Yeah. And the whole time, I'm, obviously, I didn't know who she's talking about, but I was like, well, if Adam thinks you guys could be something, like that's that's fun like that's exciting then jackson walks in and ashley's like we have to tell jackson yeah Yeah. i'm like oh god so i tell him and he's like i don't know giving me shit but being funny adding to it all yeah so then we go the next day we're going to the beach yeah and we were running late due to diarrhea and whatnot yep (laughs) it's tough tough day beach Beach was beautiful beach was beautiful you're up yeah um we're running late so i text in the big whatsapp i'm like 
hey guys, we're running late. Is, are you guys still at the beach? Blah, blah, blah. Like everyone's at the beach right now. Uh-huh. The only person that responds and likes my message is uh-huh. Sunglass Man. Uh-huh. And Ashley and Jackson are like, oh, TK. Like, Ooh, interesting. <laughs> I didn't even know his name. I was like, I think this is him. Yeah. Because we were like, eliminating all the other guys yeah and again there's so many people we don't know we don't have names to numbers in the chat so it was like it could be him we, we were think like it's we him. think it's him yeah so we go to the beach have a great time and then that night was the welcome party where you <laughs> you and we Jackson finally see him and we're like oh and assessed him yeah which what did you think i thought it was great like we uh, he we just basically asked super super basic questions like what do you do where do you live he said he had just moved um to this new city and jackson and i have friends that live there and we were like oh my god like you you have to hit them up like they're fairly new there too mm-hmm. like you guys would totally get along so we were just talking about like simple stuff like that and what did you think he seemed great mm-hmm. but he's so not my type my normal type right i would agree i feel like he's definitely not your normal type and a little older than yeah. you've dated in the past definitely so. So we go to the welcome party. It's super fun. I'm having a great time. I only talked to him like once ish, but we left l- early because you weren't feeling great. Yeah. So we go <laughs> home, and the next day I think was your doctor day. Yes. The next day you guys had to go up the trolley mm-hmm. to the top of the mountain. I think it was called Table Mountain. And I had gotten somehow by like a miracle from God a doctor appointment. I was so excited. So I was like, I'm skipping that. I'm going to the doctor. Got to be good for the wedding. Because I think we left the next day for the wine country. Yeah. Yeah. That, no, that day. The doctor Later day. that day? Yeah. Later that day we left for the wine country. So this is my literal <laughs> last opportunity to see a doctor before going like out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So... I felt like I was kind of solo dolo during these times because yeah. like my two peas in a pod, like Ash and Jackson were gone. So I yeah. really had to just like work the room and socialize. Yeah, well, which you are so good at. Thank you. Yeah. But I did have Haley. Yes, which is nice. And like Janine and stuff, but like, you know what I mean? Yeah. The bridesmaids were kind of together, et cetera. Yeah. So I go to this like table mountain thing. Table mm-hmm. mountain. Table right? mountain. So we go to the top of the mountain and I'm hanging with Haley and Brian. And by this point, like, People are in my ear about this guy. Like, yeah. I haven't even revealed to anyone I'm, that I'm like interested. Yeah. But they're all like, TK. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, are, is, are they in his ear? I'm like, what's going on? A thousand percent. If they're talking to him, to you about him, they're talking to him about you. It felt like I was in middle school, but yeah. in a fun in way. In a fun way. <laughs> That's what it felt like. This whole thing felt like camp when you're in middle school and there's crushes and there's new people and there's all this fun drama. So we're at the top of Table Mountain and it's a gorgeous view. Everyone's immediately uh-huh. pulling out their cameras, taking photos, t- pulling out their phones, videos, whatever, because it's just an insane view of the entire city of Cape yeah. Town. So he kind of says like under his, his breath right next to me, he's like, I should get a new photo for my hinge here. He like says something like that, right? And I'm like, I sh- I was like, let me take it. Like I'm the photo girl. He has no idea what I do at this point. Yeah. But I'm like, trust me, like I know how to You're get like, a good bro, photo. I'm like, bro, bag. I got this. Yeah. Like whatever. Give me your phone. And he's like, really? And I'm like, yeah, of course. So, you know, I'm kind of doing my own thing. Haley and I go get lunch. He comes back later. And you guys are the doctor at this point. Yeah. So he comes back around later and he's like, yo, can you actually take this photo? And I was like, oh my God, like, did ask you want this photo? Like, I yeah. kind of thought that was a joke, but okay, whatever. Yeah. Thought we were being sarcastic. S- no, That's literally. Sure. I was like, I'll take your hidden photo. Like, whatever. <laughs> so we go, like, to the edge of the mountain with the gorgeous view. And I'm like, taking Haley and are like, yes, like, pose. Like, we're Get making it. him do Get this. It. Work. The Work. heart thing. Yeah. We're like making him do all these little poses and stuff. And he's like, being funny. And I'm like, okay, great. He like handled that well, whatever. So we finish, and as we're walking away, I'm like, that's a good idea. Like, I should get a hinge photo here, too. And he just says so quickly, he's like, or we could just match on hinge, like, right now in real life. Oh. And I was like, oh. Smooth. I was like, the fuck? Smooth. Smooth. Yeah, <laughs> smooth criminal. So I was like, oh. And Haley's like, yeah. You know, Haley's like freaking out. Yeah. But trying to play so, happy. so cool. <laughs> So excited she heard it, but then doesn't want to make a big deal out and of it. And I'm I'm just trying to play it cool, too. I was like, oh, yeah, that would be probably a good idea. Yeah. Like, blah, blah, blah. Well, might as well. And w- nothing really happens, but I think we both gave each other the okay of, yeah. like, hee this little <laughs> crush is I'm going to flirt for with me. you. Yeah. You're going to flirt with me. I'm okay with it. You're okay with it. So as we're leaving, like, Haley's obviously filling in Brian. Right. <laughs> Haley's Beyonce, telling everyone telling else. everyone. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> this just happened to TK. Like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> 
And I'm like, I when did I end up telling you? Was it when we got to the hotel? I think I think you said I think you came up on the bus and said something happened. I can't tell you now, but I'll tell you later. Because and they, he I think was you sitting told me right at the there. hotel. Yeah, because he was I think he sat in front of me on that he, bus ride. He did, and he was like, Come sit by me, and I was like, No. <laughs> <laughs> she ran away. <laughs> um, so I I don't know what was it in me but i was like i need a second. normally i'm like down to i don't know just get the ball rolling but yeah. in my like soul i was like i want to let him chase me yeah kind of thing yeah you gotta vibe so, it out you gotta trust your gut exactly i'm like also you're old like you can be a gentleman and okay. chase me <clears throat> sorry he's my age <laughs> so but for me yeah 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 jackson's only a year older than you yeah true 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 so we get to the hotel, which was hilarious that we were sharing a hotel room together because, like, <laughs> it wasn't like the nicest hotel. Yeah, um, it, it was, was fine. It was a little cramped, but like just a little cramped. We did it. We crushed it. It was like, fine. If they had more rooms, I definitely would have gotten my own. I feel. Yeah, it was unfortunately. But oh, no also, other options. Ashley and I, the hair tools weren't working. Yeah, and we had to get ready for a rehearsal dinner. And imagine it being just like a hundred degrees, so like hot. in the hotel room. Nothing was working. My steamer broke. Oh my god, the steamer. The steamer, yeah. And then all the hot tools weren't working, so I, I ended up with my hair like in a ponytail or something but like that. But your wedding day dress, slay, Ugh, thank so you. hot. You want to know a fun fact? Yeah. Haley loved that dress so much that she's making me wear it at her wedding. Which I love. Yeah. She That's was like, so convenient. She literally came up and was like, wait, do you have your dress for my wedding yet? And I was like, no, not yet. And she was like, you should wear that one. And no, I, you look hot. I looked her dead in the eye and I was like, this is pretty bright. <laughs> I was like, are you sure? Like, it's a bright, like, emerald green color. Um, it's like a lime green, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely bright, though. Um, and I like, I looked at her and I was like, are you a thousand percent sure? Because, like, that'd be nice. I wouldn't have to buy another dress. Yeah. And she was like, no, a thousand percent. Like, no one has green yet. Like, we're putting you down for green. And I was Yay. like, okay. So I'm going to be wearing it again. Well, explain Italy. what she's doing. It's like everyone's different color. Yes. So Haley, I've mentioned this before, but she's a wedding photographer and she, has shot so many weddings her goal for her wedding is that it's different and unlike any other wedding she's ever shot before so every single bridesmaid has a different color and it's bold like there's girls, it's a rainbow there's girls with like ruffles and and frills and there's there's big wide dresses there's slim like there's mermaid like, dresses there's yellow a girl green with, um, blue pink florals yes and um feathers yes there's feathers like there's a little bit of everything and i would really like Focus. It's very like Vogue. It's very like Vogue Brid Bridgerton vibes. It is is what it is. And her and her uh, groom are still going classic, like white and black. But everyone else is supposed to be like colorful in the party. So it's gonna be. But aren't the groomsmen just wearing the tux? Yes. Oh, okay. yes, yes. I was yes. like, oh my god, they're having it's, all It's just colors. the girls. It's just the dresses. But it'll make for really great photos. Oh my gosh, it's gonna. Look it's gonna so be amazing. so much fun. But the green's perfect. The green's perfect. It worked out great. So we'll see it again. <laughs> yeah, that's a hot um, dress. But uh, if you're curious. Rat and Boa is the brand. But be warned, most of the dresses on that website are see-through. Yes. Except so, for that green one. But a fun fact, the dress that I wore, they came out with basically the same dress in white and it's not see-through. Oh. And it's really pretty. I sent it to Haley like a couple months ago and was like, hello, yeah. <laughs> you should get this. I don't know if she did or not, but um, some of the dresses aren't. 90% of them are. So you mm. have to be very careful. Love it. Yeah. Anyway, Ashley and I are in this hotel room trying to get ready. It's like 100 degrees. Yeah. We're down bad. Yeah. <laughs> we go to the rehearsal <laughs> so sweaty, dinner. So um, that was like a super chill, fun night. I feel like this is when we were finally getting to know people. Yes. We like sat, we were able to like sit down and like talk. Mm -hmm. We weren't, there was no activity. We were all just sitting and getting to know each other. And I felt like that evening was when I got to know everyone finally. What do you feel like you learned from meeting all these different people outside of our bubble? I felt like I personally, other than like events and stuff like that, I tend to, to like find the same group of people everywhere I go. Yeah. So I actually, I like remember telling Alicia this when I got home, like I was actually really, I felt like it was healthy for me to like I be agree. in that situation and not know people and have to like put in time and effort to get to know them. I usually do that every once in a while with like one or two people, not that many. So I felt like it was kind of like a healthy challenge for me. Totally. Because I've just been in the same groove for a while um, and it was so much fun. 
I also loved how different everyone was yeah, from everyone me. was from different places. Even the people different from Italy, jobs. different states, completely different jobs. Have, having kids. Like yeah. they're just in different eras yeah. of their life. And on top of that, have like completely different lives yes, than we do. A thousand percent. It was so interesting. Mm-hmm. Um and people who had been married for a long time, people who had just got started dating, and it was it was all over the place, all over the map, and in like the best way. Like mm-hmm. you couldn't get bored. <laughs> Did you learn anything about yourself from interacting with all of these new people? I think it was a good reminder of, oh yeah, I am a little shy. You need to like try harder or, or really? like talk a little more. I, it's hard because again, I still wasn't feeling good. Um, so I felt like I didn't Such really trooper, come out guys. of my shell until. Um, until the the buddy moon. I felt like I kept speaking on behalf of Ashley. I was like, guys, I promise she's fine. She just <laughs> said. I was like, I swear. It like to anyone I got close with, I was like, no, like Ashley is so fun. You just say like, she's just down bad right now. Yeah, and then you'd like the camera would pan to me and I was like asleep in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it was a reminder that I am innately shy, but I am able to like step up and like talk really well and I am good at like asking people questions and getting to know them and I just had to I just have to like tap into it mm-hmm. yeah Your- that night was the first night I had a glass of wine oh. that, the whole trip because so far because I was like okay like no I don't feel great but also a rehearsal? At, at the wedding rehearsal oh. uh, night um I was like I'm gonna have a glass of wine and like try to get myself like more talkative because mm-hmm. I was aware that I was being quiet for most of the trip so mm-hmm. far. So um, I didn't even finish it. I think I had like one most of a glass of white wine, but I was trying to be more talkative. So that was my intention behind it. <laughs> my, You're so good at making people, even if it's like the most boring thing they're saying, like you make them feel so like interesting really (laughs) yeah like you're a really fun active listener like I feel like if I'm telling you something you're like whoa like I feel like you make me feel like I'm important which is like uh, a great quality to have because when you're you know when you're meeting someone new and they're like you can tell they're not interested it's like okay well I don't want to tell you right right, but like even if you're not you're good at acting like (laughs) you are which is great yeah I actually agree I think I'm I think I'm a pretty good listener you're a great listener I think I What I lack is something that you have. And I think I run out of questions to ask and I run out of like, uh, what do I say next? You know, like I'll be in that situation a lot where I feel like there's not a beat that goes by because you're just constantly like moving the conversation along to the next thing. And I feel like the two of us together power couple <laughs> yeah we are we really are i'm like listening i'm reaff- i'm affirming I'm, yeah. I'm like yeah so in the story Bouncing and then of tk's other. bringing up the new topics at sh- each time so it was it was kind of great to uh be able to have you there also Aww. during those conversations i will say though i think something i need to work on like specifically with dating which honestly you and jackson kind of taught me is i need to like reel it back sometimes with the questions mm-hmm. and like it's okay if there's like an awkward pause because like they need to ask me a question. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially being a shyer person, if there's not a second for me to like start Jump my in. own thing, then I don't. Like, yeah, I just won't. Like I can't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but if there's a pause, and I'll be like, okay, Ashley, your turn, and then I'll be like, so like blah da 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 da, yeah. you know. And um, I think that is something. I think I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's just something that to like be aware of mm-hmm. in the future. Like you're talking to someone, you're interviewing someone or you're on a date, like it's okay to let them fill the void every once in a while. Or v- just that voids aren't a bad thing. A hundred percent. Yeah. I definitely that's one of my weaknesses is I'm like I don't let there be a void. Like I'm always thinking of the next question, which is awesome when you're the other person because you're just like, okay, just ask me a question and I'll answer, right? Yeah. It's, I guess it's kind of easy to be in that situation. But like for me, I need to actively tell myself to shut the fuck up so <laughs> yeah. they can ask me a question. I feel like it's good if we're talking about dating to like stop talking, take grab your drink, like take a long sip and just look at them That's and be like, tip, your turn. You don't have to say anything. Just like eye contact, sip the drink, mm-hmm. set it down. Don't say anything. That's good. Let them step up, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that. Um, it's also kind of sexy. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. If done right. <laughs> Could be awkward if you're done like, wrong. <laughs> yeah. Or you're too intense of eye contact. You're like you're staring like, them down. <laughs> you're like. <laughs> I'm dead. That's terrifying. Yeah. Um, One of the things that I 
was so inspired by by meeting all of these new people was how fun all of these couples were when they still have kids because in my head i don't know why this is just a me thing and maybe i have a few friends that are like this that you know i think this way yeah but in my head when someone starts having kids they just start getting boring and like whatever which i know that is not the case but like this is just what i had in my head your experience yeah Yeah, my experience where they start getting boring and they're not fun to be around and yada yada right yeah these couples on this trip not only were married but they also had young children and they were some of the most fun go with the flow yeah. down bitches yeah. that i've ever met in my entire life uh-huh. and it really inspired me to really want an awesome one partner but have an awesome family and yeah. be able to really like still have fun even though you have kids like you can still go on fun trips you can still have your life yeah even though you have kids i completely agree i i, I can't even pinpoint exactly who maybe taught me this but i agree i feel like in my head I was like oh you have kids like nothing that's your priority nothing you don't do anything fun anymore like it's just like blah 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 maybe that's part of the reason why I've taken my sweet ass time like settling down um but I agree like everyone that was there especially the ones that had kids they were like like even the, most even the people that were older yeah. that were like parents, friends, or family friends that have been so you know fun. married, have kids, like they've they're like borderline retired. They're like they have the most interesting lives and they were so fun and exciting. And I could just tell like everyone there lived for adventure and lived for being a little different like didn't follow your typical cookie cutter family and it was like it was inspiring for me especially being someone who doesn't have a my own family personal family yet like it was it was fun to be able to look at them and be like I could do that no a hundred percent it was inspiring has never always and I, I know this probably sounds mean but I've never always been like super intrigued on having kids and settling down mm-hmm. I don't know why, and I can't really tell you why, but it was fun watching them and being like, oh, you still have a career. You still have a life. Like, you're still doing all this stuff. And obviously, I know that people can do that, but like being able to see it in person was amazing. And I feel like all of my family friends, and there's nothing wrong with that, like a lot of them just like focus on the family and just like that's all they do. They eat, leave, and eat, live, and breathe their kids. Mm -hmm. And that is a beautiful thing. Um, but I think I may, I've maybe always questioned if I was able to do that. Yeah, totally. If I was capable of doing that. I also was really inspired by all of the gentlemen, like the way they took care of their wives mm-hmm. or just like they wouldn't let their wives carry a bag or just like little things. They yeah. would go get them a drink at the bar. I don't know, yeah. just stuff that's like no shit. We all want that. Mm-hmm. But the way that they would speak so highly about them or, you know, like you could tell they still like, to be blunt, had like a great sex life. Yeah. Or they were just yeah, like yeah. really They're still very in love with each other. Yeah. yeah. And it was like hot and fun versus I don't know if I'm just like scarred maybe like from my parents or just like adults in general. Yeah. But I feel like it gets like boring. I don't know. It just yeah. like felt so positive and like energetic and inspiring. Yeah. I completely agree. And I think it was it was needed for both of us. Yeah, to see I it. was like I walked away and I was like, Yeah, I could have kids one day. I was like, I want to do that. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no, literally. Yeah, literally. I was like, wow, maybe I don't hate men. <laughs> this is wild. There's Shy. gentlemen out there. Yeah. Another thing like going off of the gentlemen, like the way that they would listen and speak to me and like value and respect me just mm-hmm. as a normal person bystander there yeah i was like wow i there really are great guys out there There really are yeah i just need to go somewhere else probably to find them <laughs> maybe get out of our circle like maybe i was saying like oh rut. i'm in a little bit of a rut like 100%. seeing the same people over and over again like that's why i think it's so important to like challenge yourself and go do new things and meet new people and and take a random class just for the hell of it because that's how you meet new people you can't go to the same circle and expect someone to just show up, you know? 100%. It happens, but rarely. <laughs> <laughs> so how gorgeous was the wedding venue? Oh, my God. The wedding venue. Guys, I would just love to paint the picture here for a second. It was like we were in a valley. Like this, we, we were in Cape Town and then went to wine country. Yes. We drove all the way to Hotspur. No, that was where Kapama was. All the I way to... I don't know. I'm wine country. I'm so sorry. And it was like two and a half hours from... Yeah. Or three? From... Cape Town, I'm not sure exactly, but it was wine country, and yeah. we were only there for three nights. Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, it was 
we ended up in this beautiful valley filled with um, wineries and two nights. Sorry, there was beautiful mountains surrounding us. The sunsets were stunning. It looked like an actual painting, and there was some wildlife kind of like in Giraffes. the in the like area surrounding the winery itself, and then the this beautiful, super modern most like gorgeous architecture building was just like planted right in the middle. What, wasn't it a chapel? Yeah, it was yeah. a chapel um, specifically for <laughs> events like this. Um, that's where the wedding was. Uh, it was blistering hot, but it was stunning. stunning. It was Pro- stunning. the prettiest wedding I've ever been to. And you to. walk over this like walkway that's over like a little pool of water to get into the building. It was all glass on the bottom. And then it had this beautiful, um, I'm trying to think of the right term, but the the roof itself was all white, kind of felt very like grease like. It did. And it kind of rolled. And it just didn't look like any other roof you've ever seen before. And they ended up standing on top of it for one of the photos that Haley took and it was epic. The architecture was insane. So much fun. And then we went from the chapel, walked all the way up to like the uh party area, which was this cute little um indoor outdoor building. I guess. Yeah. We watched the sunset. We had drinks. We had dinner. And it was just, I guys, I can't even begin to describe it. I've never been to something like that in my life. And it was beautiful. So we're at cocktail hour uh-huh. and we see where we're supposed to be sitting. Uh huh. Do you want to continue? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if things got changed. I could see someone, Adam, changing things around. Seating arrangement wise. We go we're, to the big card where it tells yeah. you where you're sitting. Where you're sitting. Dinner. Seating arrangement wise. There's like 100 people there. We're at the end of a table. At the very end of the table is Jackson. I'm next to him. Next to me is TK. And next to her is... What Sunglass are we calling man. him? Sunglasses <laughs> man. guy. And I don't know if that was planned after seeing like flirtatiousness happening, um, which I wouldn't put past Adam I and think Sarah. it was all the single people next to each other. But yes. Doesn't that make sense? It kinda? does. But it was just so weirdly we right convenient that other. you guys were next to each other. And we all like talked and, and hung out for the majority of the dinner. Even Yeah, the two other single guys were across from us and we were all just like chatting. Um but remember, he didn't ask me a question. But he barely talked to her. <laughs> no, he was talking to me, but I was only asking him questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he wasn't initiating the conversation, which was annoying you. Yeah. But every time I looked over, he looked so into it. I was like, ew. <laughs> he didn't ask a question, but his body language was saying he was very into it. So just coming from a shy person's perspective, he looked into it. So, yeah, we after a few rumblings later, we found out he was into it. He started to ask me questions. Yes. Whatever. You guys go home, mm-hmm. and I'm partying on the dance floor. So fun. Wish you could have been there. Same. It's okay. Haley's dance floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we go home, and uh, I went to the casino. Well, I don't want to say that this is exactly what happened, but some funny shit happened. Like yes. I was not into it by the yeah. end of the wedding. I was like, "Ew, fuck this guy. He's yeah. kind of boring." Whatever. She came back. We debriefed. She didn't like him anymore. They were like, "How was it? Like, was it so fun? Because the dinner went so well, and I thought the dance floor was kind of boring, and yeah. like he just like wasn't giving me enough attention." Yeah. And I was like, "Ah, he's probably a fuck boy. Like, whatever. He, yeah, he's not that cute." Like I was just saying the things when you're just trying to get over someone. Even yeah, I wasn't. Even though you were very that... into it and like wanting to be into it. Well, yeah, I was wanting to be into it. But I wasn't like that. I didn't even know him. Yes. Right? Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm over it. Whatever. They hear me rumbling about him. <laughs> yeah. I'm like over it, talking shit. Then I notice my phone's on do not disturb. So I go to my text. I have literally eight texts from Haley. She's like, bitch, where are you? <laughs> Sunglass man has asked about you 10 times. Get your ass to the casino. Oh now. my gosh. And I'm like, heaven forbid. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. wait, I actually do kind of like it. She's like, what do I wear? <laughs> I'm so confused. Because you were like getting ready for bed, essentially. Yes. And then she starts putting her makeup back on and then like starts doing your hair and doesn't know what to wear. You ended up wearing like my Britney Spears t-shirt yeah, and shorts or something. Yeah, t-shirt and, and shorts. Yeah. And Jackson was like, it's hot when girls don't care. Wear a t-shirt. Yeah, he was like, stop trying. Just like throw something on and get out there. Well, I wanted to go to the casino, but I didn't have like a buddy to go. So I was begging you guys to go with me. And and I was like, absolutely not. I'm dying. dying. And Jackson's like, TK, you're 25. Get your ass out there. And like, go find a man. He was like hyping her up and being like, listen, you got to put in some work sometimes. You got to get out there. (laughs) I forget what the speech he said, but I was like, yeah. It was so funny. And so they were like... 
if it's fucking weird, just call your mom. I know. <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, just call someone, take a call, and then leave. Like, and I was come like, back. I didn't want to go by myself because the casino was a little, not far walk, but it was just like, it wasn't in the hotel. Yeah. It was I was a like, oh, ways I have away. to go outside. I, wanna be, I don't want to be alone, et yeah. So I finally end up going, and we kind of hit it off. But he was, he's definitely way more shy than I am. Yeah. He's just Which slow with I it. feel like whether you end up with him or not, like that's the kind of person I feel like you're going to end up with because you're such an outgoing person. Someone to like bounce you out, you know? Yeah. So that was fun. We had a blast. It was very late night due to alcohol and whatnot. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, I think the next morning we uh, were all hungover. Very. And not we, me though. <laughs> yeah, not you though. We were all down bad, and then we had to go to a. What was it? Wine tour? Uh, we had a yeah wine tour, wine tasting tour mm-hmm. type thing, which and was, that was so a, fun. That was one of my favorite days. So fun. You were feeling a little better that day, huh? Um, yeah, I was feeling not a hundred percent still. I still had to go to the bathroom the whole time, but um, I just remember like loving that day. It was chill. It was easy everywhere we went. Had a nice bathroom, like a nice bathroom, um, and the food was great. Again, I just ate. Ri- the rolls were really great. <laughs> The butter was really great. Thank God you're not gluten free. Yeah, I remember loving the butter because I okay. like took uh, the bread roll and like put butter on it and ate it. And I think I had two that at that dinner. Hell yeah, girl! Yeah, it was great. Um, go crazy. Oh, we did the wine and cheese board. Oh yeah, tasting yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so yummy. That was a really fun day. Mm-hmm. Extra fun day. And then we went. You guys went to Nobu that night. We all. I didn't. That I night in. we drive back. We drive. Yeah, we right? drive back. We drive too. back to Cape Town, and we have one night in Cape Town before the next day we leave for the buddy moon and so a lot of us decide to go to nobu for dinner um and tk ends up not coming and he was like where is she blah 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 (laughs) whatever um (laughs) this like whole narrative was just made the trip like so fun because we were like does he have a crush on me? Does yeah. he not? Like, yeah. And of course, Ash and Jackson are like in my ear the entire time, like living yeah. vicariously. And I was thriving Nobu wise because it was like plain white rice and fish. Oh. And so I was like, I was, I had a good amount of that. And I remember being like, wow, I ate. That's I finally great. like ate, you know? So yeah. that felt good. So the next morning, bright and early, we get on our flight to Hode Sprout. And I make TK give me her antibiotics. Yes, yeah, she was like, it was that morning. I was like, listen, can I? have your z pack <laughs> yeah. and i was like yeah you can <laughs> i felt so bad but then at the same time i was like give it to me <laughs> no i like i kept wondering i was like fuck like i could give you this but what if i get what it if you get it that's like, what i kept thinking i, I was like she, there's still a huge possibility she could get it mm-hmm. and it was like i feel like it was at the time of the trip where there wasn't that much left so yeah. i was like you know what fuck it you can have it yeah maybe one day i'll need the z pack from you <laughs> yeah which you guys would be so proud for my our Italy trip coming up. I have a Z-Pack secured just in case I get sick. Hell yes. So we uh, go to Kapama, which is a game reserve mm-hmm. in South Africa. In Hotspur. In Hotspur. Yeah. Yeah, in Hotspur. And it is basically a safari mm-hmm. resort type yeah. thing. Everything's all inclusive. I cannot recommend it enough. Oh, I have told everyone I know about it. It is the most beautiful, best all-inclusive I've ever been to. Same. Where the food was actually good and, and the, the drinks, drinks were, were actually good. Because <laughs> a lot of like all-inclusive, like it's just it's like a little buffet, but it's all like kind of it's whatever like melons food. in the fruit yeah, bowl. Yeah, it's like yeah. a continental breakfast. No, thank you. This was like an actual like luxury, really food. well done menu. The drinks were fire. The bla- place was beautiful. There were pools everywhere. Amenities there was a spa. amazing. So so gorgeous. But there's a game drive every morning and every night. So fun. Nothing I've ever been to. Which the game drive, which by the way is like a safari drive. Uh-huh. Um, every it felt like it went by so fast. Like having yeah. two, I thought we I would want to go way more. Two was plenty. Yeah, two was day. plenty because we. Every morning it was at like 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a 5 a.m. drive. You like had some coffee and muffins, basically. Um, then or like tea. or tea, and like went on the drive. And then you had the entire afternoon from like 8 a.m. to four. Yeah, four or to five. like three because I think the the night drive started, started at four. four. Okay. Um, and then you would do the night drive for f- like four hours or something like that, and then you'd have dinner. And it like. It was great. It was so, so great. A lot of the people that went to the wedding didn't go to the buddy moon. 
So there was a smaller group of us there. And, we and I bonded. felt like we all bonded yeah. even more because we were like freaking out over the lion that walks over or seeing a giraffe like in its natural habitat <laughs> Okay, for the first time. Like so stunning. Let's talk about the animals. Oh my God. You guys, this was probably one of the coolest things I've ever done in my ever entire life. Ever done in my life. Yeah. yeah. Life. If you get the opportunity to go to South Africa, you have to go on a safari. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah. It was absolutely unreal. I did not realize like how close we were going to be yeah. to the animals or and the things. fact that like I've seen safari stuff in like movies and, and things like that. The fact that there were no seatbelts, no cage, nothing blocking you from the animals in any way. Like I didn't even see a gun. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like okay cool so if this thing like no, just decides to like come after us what are we gonna do you know um the Scream. rule was, the rule was like don't say anything don't make a sound don't move um don't when, stand when up. you come up on an animal like we're just here to observe was like the whole rule so you yeah. have to stay quiet you could take photos and stuff but no one not one animal like looked like it was trying to like unnerved by us being yeah. there. yeah i think i got a lot of like dms like how are you this close like blah, yeah blah. I don't know. Maybe they're just used to it. Yeah. Well, they did say that the specifically the lions, they said the lions in that area haven't had humans before, haven't eaten a human before. So they don't have any cravings or have any knowledge that they That's can eat us. Interesting. But the, they very much can. So they were like, we keep obviously keep it that way. <laughs> yeah. And uh, make sure that nothing else happens like on the far ends that could like possibly change that um so i don't know it was just it was wild it was wild so what was your favorite animal we saw um i was really torn obviously the lions gave me the chills and uh butterflies on my stomach and i couldn't believe i was looking at them but i feel like um there was so much giraffe that i feel like we got kind of a little desensitized to seeing them but they were so stunning to me like elegant. i was gonna say the same yeah majestic yeah like, like watching them run was i was like oh my god that was being so that beautiful tall and big yeah. insane and there was one time we had uh it was our morning coffee on safari so the cool thing about this place is they would take you on a morning safari and then pull over somewhere oh, yeah cool dur during like sunrise and like they had some like hot coffee and like little cookies or something for you and I remember while we were sipping our coffee that uh, morning you could see like the head of a giraffe kind of walking over trees and I was like I am in a, a freaking movie right now. It was crazy. It was absolutely stunning so I think the giraffe might have been my favorite. I think giraffe seeing giraffes were my favorite as yeah. well just because they were I never so got over it. like mind-boggling and majestic i was like this and is just so tall like you every time you had to like turn your head all the way back to be able to see them and it just felt kind of like wow like in prehistoric times like a lot of animals like were like this yeah. yeah it did kind of feel like jurassic yeah. park like in the car and stuff like You're that like whoa yeah and it's the way they move is so like it looks like they're almost swimming. Yeah, and like obviously I've se I've seen a lot of these animals at zoos before. It was so different. So different. It was not the same thing completely. N it's not comparable in any way and I low key like I don't think I'll ever go to a zoo again. Like it was so cool seeing them. Like we were in their territory and we were like uh, invading them and their space and it was cool to see them in their space. Totally. And in, then in being their habitat. like yeah, and just like living their life, doing their thing, eating their leaves, like beautiful. It was so fun to going on these game rides because you just never know what you were going to see. Yeah. Or you never knew what you were going to see. And um it was like a scavenger hunt. And yeah. it like felt so much cooler when you did see an animal because yeah. you were like, whoa, like yeah. what what are the odds that like this time we get to see? It kind of felt like a game because there's it like, was a game. there's like the big five um that everyone tries to see every single uh, visit or every yeah, single so safari, which the is the big five is basically the top five animals that are the most rare and hard to see. Most rare. So game. it's Cape, Buffalo is one of them, a lion, elephant rhino and leopard yeah good job that's i studied five. it before <laughs> and we uh i specifically saw all of them except for the leopard same only but one group saw leopard it felt like a game like we were like okay we saw we saw the elephant check it off the list yeah. you know like we we looked hard for the leopard and never saw it but the um, elephants were sick the elephants too. were beautiful they got very close to us they were like so unbothered by yeah. us. S insanely huge. Wouldn't move for anybody. Yeah. Like, they were like, nope, this is our spot. Gentle like, beasts. Go around us, yeah. And it was cool to, like, hear them. 
Like, yeah. I could hear them step. I could hear them chew. I could hear them, you know, make little noises. The little babies make noises to oh. their to their mom. You know, like it was things that you see in movies, but you could actually hear what they're doing. And it was really, ah, uh, ah. Uh. One of my favorite things about the entire safari was the noises. Yeah. Uh, that... Uh, the jungle makes yeah like just, oh my god the frogs yeah be, at night <laughs> hearing like the frogs are just like the rumblings in the forest yeah or I guess. the jungle whatever yeah. the fork it's called yeah <laughs> like w- uh, we were just mind boggled the they whole time were, i've never heard such loud frogs in my life <laughs> it was it to the point where it was like you couldn't talk to each other it was so loud um, I had no idea frogs were like that um also I, a really cool thing that i thought just like blew my mind is there's a bird there called um the go away bird uh-huh and um it literally just goes like go away like Wait, that's what, what it sounds like that's what their chirp sounds like that's hilarious go away, go that's what, literally what it sounds like and that's their name and so it really felt like hunger games at that point because mm-hmm. i was like are you kidding me <laughs> he's saying go away like it was it was really funny but um yeah man so many cool unexpected things our trackers were incredible and we were on a night drive i think it was our final night drive and there was this guy who's our tracker's name bernard 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 literally stopped us pitch black outside obviously there's no lights except for his flashlight and the car lights he's fully stops our car wait i feel like we need to explain this better oh okay you're in this massive truck Mm -hmm. and the back is open and there's a driver named who we had jordan and Uh then there's a tracker in the front who has a seat with no seat belt but they're there to like find the animals and tell the driver to stop yeah so the driver has like all the knowledge you can ask him all the questions and he'll give you like all the facts about any animal any plant like the habitat whatever and then the tracker in the front is looking for footprints um rumblings in the poop yeah you yes. know broken leaves broken branches little stuff like that to try to track down the animals that we're looking for um the tracker bernard in the middle of the night at the last drive makes us stop because he notices a little baby chameleon on a leaf on a bush all the way to the right insane his he just happened to notice it They're and so i was good like at it. it blew that's how skilled he was and it just blew my mind that he saw this i'm not kidding it was probably like an inch and a half long it was so little insane so cool it, they're so talented they'll basically at night they have a flashlight and they're going it was so interesting seeing like where their eyes are looking yeah. because in the daytime like we don't know what the fourth they're looking at yeah but at night they take the you flashlight can see and how fast move it scanning back and forth um between like right and left uh, across the road and they're just like scouring the jungle <sighs> for yeah. animals and it'd be crazy that he'd be like stop and then it'd be like an elephant that he saw across the way. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. Like deep in the bushes, could barely see, blended what, right in. What was also awesome is every driver had a walkie talkie. So if like one group saw a, is it a herd of lions? Pa- uh, pack? Pride. Okay. If so, if one of. Uh, it's a pack, a pack of female lions is called a pride. I think they have to be if female. If one of the drivers saw a bunch of lions, yeah. <laughs> a pride of lions, I don't know. what I should know that. Yeah. But they would radio all the other cars, trucks or cars or whatever, and we would all get to see. So that was really helpful as well. Yeah. There was um, a couple moments where we got to, like, we came across that pride of lions. They were all sleeping in the street. Oh, yeah. That was so sick. So pretty. So cute. And they had, like, an adolescent male with uh-huh. them. Um, apparently like at a certain age, I think once their, their mane's fully grown in, they leave and they like go on their own. The males do. Um, but until then they they stick around with the pride and all the females. And it was cool just like seeing they clearly had just eaten because they were all like zonked out. (laughs) Yeah, they were. Yeah, Yeah, they were asleep. It was so funny. Yeah. Um, there were only on the entire property, there were only two male yeah, like lions, full male lions. Uh, which obviously are the ones that have, you know, the big... Mane. Yeah, mane. And we got to see one of them. Both actually, of them. Actually, both of them. The first night. The first night, which is insane because yeah. that's so rare, apparently. Uh-huh. some They hadn't seen him in weeks, yeah. or both of them in weeks. So we got to see... That was like... My heart was like pounding out oh, of my that's, chest. That's when I was very, I had full body chills. He like walked Scary. on the side that I was sitting on. And I just remember being like, if he jumped he could kill me right it now it looks like scar because yeah he, he did had, look like, like scar he had a darker mane yeah which is crazy and can we talk about the giraffe yeah <laughs> 
Yeah. So we're like on a drive. It's in the morning. We're getting coffee. We're getting coffee. And all of a sudden the guys start like they get a call and they start packing everything up really quick. And they're like, we got to go. We got to go. And one of the fun things I really appreciated about the driver and the tracker was they wouldn't tell you what the person said over the phone. It was a surprise. So it was almost always a surprise. So like they would be like, oh, we got some news that that something is happening. We got to go. We got to go. We got to check it out, which I really appreciated the surprise because it was fun because the whole ride you'd be like, I wonder what it is. Um, And apparently because the rains, giraffe had a really hard time walking because the the ground gets so wet that it becomes like mud. So I guess, unfortunately, one of the giraffe fell and two lions got it. Yeah fell and the lions had a feast yeah the lions took over when i tell you guys we saw the entire inside of a giraffe yeah it was wild and it was it was scary and gross and beautiful and majestic like all at the same time it was really it's really hard to describe because like the whole time i I obviously feel bad for the giraffe and i'm like kind of grossed out by what's going on but then like watching just the circle of life happen in front of you was like this whole really kind of beautiful moment and and it was it was so hard to explain and articulate but the whole time all I could say is my mouth was on the floor and I was just in awe of nature there were you guys I'm not even kidding you like probably like eight lions feasting yeah from this giraffe and we were watching it it like felt like I was in a movie well it was like two right yeah, but they were all all the ones on the outskirts that would they would like two would come and eat and then they would kind of yeah. vibe. They would be full and then more would come. Yeah. They so we were just like how do I even explain it? It felt like we were watching Animal Planet. Oh my god, happen, yeah. A thousand percent. Which was crazy. It was discovery. And apparently channel in that's real life. so rare. Like that hardly ever happens. Well, apparently, um, giraffe are actually it's rare for lions to catch them because one giraffe are extremely fast and t- apparently they have this really cool technique that's just so badass of a giraffe where they like whip their neck around. Mm-hmm. So even <laughs> if a lion like tried to jump on them or even got like a hold of them, they can whip their neck and literally like slingshot them off. Which is crazy. Which is so cool. So it's actually rare for a giraffe to actually get caught by them. They're also so ginormous. I can imagine how yeah, hard it is. Like it's di- it's definitely difficult. So um, yeah, I guess all in all, it was a really beautiful, crazy experience to be able to watch that. Was there anything you learned specifically from just watching the animals being around them, being in their environment? Yeah, um, I... <laughs> I I felt like the whole time watching it, I was like, this is how it's meant to be. Like, this is how animals are supposed to be. Like, they're not supposed to be in cages. They're not Mm -hmm. supposed to be, you know, I love my dogs and I, and I love training them and and having them, them with me, but being able to see like how it was back in the day Mm -hmm. and how it can be still just like made me really appreciate, um, just nature more Mm -hmm. just nature more and just not especially being out there and not seeing buildings everywhere or trash um all the gross things that come with like just humans (laughs) it not being there i felt like just really made me aware of it now that i'm back home Mm -hmm. if that makes sense no 100 percent. i feel like for me what i learned which is so silly and stupid but so real is that (laughs) i was like damn this is how life like life isn't that tricky. Mm. It's about banging who you want or banging, <laughs> yeah, eating Re- and surviving. Yeah, like literally, that's the only things survival. These animals are All worried about of the extra things that we stress ourselves about that we have anxiety surviving. over. Like it doesn't matter. Like in the big picture, their only priority is to find food, survive, and then reproduce. Yeah, and I was like, same. Yeah. <laughs> No, literally. You walked. We walked away from that trip. I'm like, I got all of our all of our struggles. <laughs> were like, bye. Forget about it. Like, we're just trying to live. I felt so life. small. Yeah. I guess. And like the things that I worry about felt so minuscule and stupid. Yeah. And it was cool just seeing, like, such a big mass of life. Yeah. Like an elephant. Like that could only... care less about yes. you. That doesn't need you. That doesn't need you know. Like it's oh, not that deep. I it's guess. Not that deep. I I felt really small after that yeah. trip, and the animals, oh, they're just so majestic. Like yeah. I would go back to. I want to go back. On oh, a safari. I told my family I want to like cancel a Christmas one of these times Same. and go because it's 
my parents would love it. They don't even realize how much they would love it. Oh my god, my mom would die. Yeah, she would love it. Oh, it'd be so great. Um, so yeah, we had the best time. I had a great trip. It was a trip of a lifetime. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. What are you looking forward to the the most about this next destination wedding? Um. I, th- I feel like I've become, because of Africa, I'm a fan of destination weddings now. Me as well. Um, I low-key might have one. <laughs> Please do. Yeah, that Actually, would be, you so would. It would be so fun. Um, I could see it. I just, I love the whole experience. I love a good wedding. I love a reason to celebrate or go do something co- together collectively as a group um, for this trip. It's going to be fun because I know a lot of people this time around. Same. So that's going to be fun. Um, and just, I've, same, same thing as Africa. I've never been to Italy. So, which is crazy. Cause I feel like you're going to be obsessed. I know. It's, I feel like I've traveled a lot and that's just one of the places I've never gone to. Um, so I'm very excited to go there. I love that it's a completely different vibe. Your girl's packing literally all dresses. Like I have so, I'm fully diving into like the Italy girl Hell era. Yeah. Um, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be an absolute blast. If you had to get married tomorrow and it was a destination, where would you get married? Oh, that is a great question. Part of me wants to be like, I want to go somewhere I've never been before because that's what the last two or that's what these two are. Uh-huh. Some place I've never been, and um. I'm Irish and Scottish, so that could be fun to like Ooh. go go somewhere super far like Ratual that. Roots. And Ratual my hometown. people, you know, like that would be fun. Um, but then also, I just love the beach. Mm-hmm. So even a simple like Mexico wedding mm-hmm. could be so much fun. Um, I don't know yet. Obviously, the guy has a say too, but we'll see. We but might he's- end up. At the beach. I feel like Jackson loves traveling as well. He so does. I feel like he would be down for destination. He would be down for, I think he'd be down for destination. And I think, you know, destinations, obviously not everyone can come, but like, I do, I do feel like it's more intimate that way. Oh my gosh. I prefer it because then I don't have to invite the people I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It weeds out people for you. I for sure thought you were going to say Greece. Oh, I would do Greece too. Okay. Oh, I freaking love Greece. And you love it. Yeah. I do love Greece. I still think it's, Africa definitely tr- took like the cake, so it is now my favorite trip I've ever been on. Really, I think best trip you ever been on? Greece or Africa? Yeah, I, my, again, minus from me being so sick. I think it was the most like awe inspiring, like beautiful thing I've ever done in my life. Greece is still like one of my favorite places mm. I've ever been to. So Greece is a huge option. I could so see you doing. It'd Greece. be fun to do like a yacht week wedding. <gasps> I could see it because you and Jackson always talk about Yacht Week. Because he went on a Yacht yes. Week. I went on a Yacht Week. And that was one of the things we both talked about when we first started dating. We were like, wait, you've been on Yacht Week? And I was like, yes, I yeah. have. Dude, I just saw a TikTok. I should send it to you. And I loved how personal this wedding was. Basically, I don't know where it was, but the girl had little towels with like, you know when you're at a sports game and you go like this yes. with the towel that's yes. like on your seat? Uh-huh. So basically, their first date was doing that. They like went to a baseball game. Uh-huh. And their first date, or the first time they met, the guy was interested in her because the girl ordered like a Coors Light, and that's like his favorite beer. Got it. So then he started talking to her, and then they went to a game. They both had Coors Lights, and they had this um, towel, one of those towels yeah. at the game, right? So at the wedding, they gave everyone a towel Cute. on the seat, and it like said like something about the mountains and Coors Light. Maybe they live in Colorado. I don't forget. I was going to say the Blue Mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it had the mountains and Coors Light logo or something, and then on really small, it like said their names. It was like. Ashley and Jackson or whatever. Uh-huh. And then it had little directions, um, like a tag attached to it. And it had little, little directions of what to do. And it said the story. It was basically like, the reason this is on here is because we met and blah, 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 blah. And yeah. we bonded, taking one of these towels and whatever. And then on the back, it said like what to do. And it was basically like, if you want us to kiss or when they pronounce us husband and wife or you want us to dance twirl your tile or whatever that. so when they kissed everyone at the wedding was going oh, like so this fun. and i was like that is so cute and personal that is very cute and um, personal so maybe you guys have to do just a yacht week thing, a that's yacht week thing. i do love that <laughs> check in next year yeah. Two. <laughs> yeah, we'll maybe see. we'll have a yacht week wedding That'd i would love it well anyway ash this was a blast i had the best time going on the trip with you yeah can't wait for this next can't one. wait for the next one and we'll have another italy debrief <laughs> yeah i'm i will say just to wrap it up i encourage you if you're single have fun have a fling yeah i think the message to be taken away from this is say yes 
so to yes. things that scare you. Even if it's like going to a you wedding and you don't know anybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or if it's someone you wouldn't expect or they're not your normal type, mm-hmm. you never know. They could be give a really it, great give guy. It a shot. Yeah. And they may be going to the next destination with wedding with you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. To be continued, we love you guys and be sure to make someone else's day this week. Watch all of our, you can creep on all of us mm-hmm. to see all of our Africa content that we talked about. Yes, babe. Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.